I'm Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zap Root. Earth Day is upon us and Zaproot couldn't really call itself green if we didn't offer you something cool to do. And although we all know every day is Earth Day, if you find yourself in any one of these places, you can attend the Green Apple Festival, America's largest Earth Day celebration. In each city there will be events, technology exhibits and live music, including the Root Thievery Corporation, Arrested Development. Holy crap, are they still alive? I challenge you to a game of horseshoes. A game of horseshoes. Take me to a it's like 1992 all over again. Or if you're in any of these places, you could attend Swaparama. Swaparama is where you bring your unwanted clothes and swap them out for other people's unwanted clothes for free. After that, you can slide on over to the do-it-yourself sewing station and have instructors help have you make any alteration you see fit. It's a fun time, and we're glad to see more and more cities hosting them. If you own one of the most powerful internet companies on the planet, you could redo your logo, or you could do like the founders of Yahoo did last year and sumo wrestle for Earth Day. <laughs> If you're in New York, check out the Go Green Expo with over 200 booths, film screenings and seminars. If you're in Los Angeles and like a little more mainstream fair, check out Universal Studios' Green is Universal Celebration. And if you just want to find something cool or fun to do in your neck of the woods, check out EarthDay.net. They have a whole catalogue of events searchable by date or location. And once Earth Day is over, sign up on our community site and write a blog about whatever crazy, funny or interesting thing you did for Earth Day. You can upload pics and videos, but we like videos. And the best 10 blog entries will win stainless steel water bottles by Clean Canteen. Dutch scientists recently conducted a study on the effects of diesel fumes on the human brain and found some shocking results. They're bad for you? Hmm. Hmm. Scientists at Zoid University somehow found 10 people willing to sit in a room and inhale mass amounts of smoke. Being down the road from Amsterdam apparently does have some benefits. Scientists found that people show signs of stress after being exposed to exhaust for 30 minutes. The same amount of exhaust that the average person typically inhales sitting on a street for 30 minutes. Guess now I finally have an excuse to show those hummers some love on the way to work. Plastic bags, they suck, so we're giving away free Chico bags. Log on to Virapop's community site, register as a new member, and send us an email letting us know that you want a new Chico bag. We only have so many of them, so you better act fast. Let's say you're China, and you really want things to go well with the Olympics in Beijing. And, well, things aren't really going well with the Tibetans. So you figure you better make sure the weather is just right. So what do you do? You establish a national weather modification office. Of course. First, the office tracks the weather from satellites and feeds the data into an IBM P575 supercomputer that does weather modeling. Then using two aircrafts and a collection of rocket launch sites around Beijing, the city's weather engineers will shoot silver iodide and dry eyes into clouds that threaten to rain on the open roof stadium. China's national weather engineering program is the world's largest, with approximately 1,500 weather modification professionals directing 30 aircraft and their crews and over 12,000 anti-aircraft guns and rocket launchers. So nature, you better hit the road because China is here to f*** you up. And finally, some celebrity eco news. Miley Cyrus is a vegetarian, but doesn't like vegetables, and only eats pasta and only weighs 95 pounds, bitch. Madonna and Gucci have been raising money for a charity, which turns out isn't a charity. Oops. A new Bond movie will be featuring the fuel-efficient Ford car, but Ford won't be selling them in the States because they think you won't buy one. And Walmart will be adding paper laced with wildflower seeds and some of its new CD releases, like Sheryl Crow, Mariah Carey, and Counting Crows, which will make everybody feel all warm and fuzzy. But why doesn't anybody bring up the fact that wildflowers from the United States become an invasive species when exported in a Mariah Carey CD case to India? Come to think of it, we shouldn't be exporting Mariah Carey anyway. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check us out at zaproot.com. Yo, YouTube user, why don't you get your subscribe on? The button's right over here. Or maybe here.